Okay, thank you so much. Uh, hopefully everyone here can hear me. I'm going to bring up PowerPoint here and begin the session. This is uh, Will Stagel. I'm the Director of Marketing here at ImageTag. Uh, if you can see my screen right now, we're going to talk to you today about QuickTag, our document management solution, and the integration that we've created uh, for QuickTag with Dynamics AX. So uh, in the session today, I'll spend a little bit of time introducing you to uh, ImageTag, the company, giving you an overview of our product, QuickTag. And then uh, we'll talk a little bit about the obstacles that people face today, dealing with paper documents, electronic documents, and the disparity between those documents and the decisions that they make, and the systems like Dynamics AX, where they keep track of all their business processes. We'll talk about that specific to the accounts payable process. Uh, many times what we find is that's where the, the primary pain point lies when it comes to managing documents. Um, you've got a lot of inbound invoices, complex process to manage that's time sensitive. And so many times that's where a discussion begins between image tag uh, and our clients. Uh, but once the solution is in place and the AP department has achieved greater efficiency, uh, we often find then the solution spreads throughout an organization to other departments that have the same kind of document burdens just for different processes. So we'll talk about AP, but I'm going to also try to extrapolate how the QuickTag platform can work to solve uh, any business process problem. And in fact, as we go into the demo and take a look at the product, I'm going to use Accounts Payable as the example, but the same functionality is accessible and available throughout AX uh, for various departments on, on all sorts of forms. So then we'll go into a live demo. You'll get to see the QuickTag product in action uh, in the context of how it's used by AX users on a day-to-day -day basis. I'll also show you a web client view. So the QuickTag solution is designed to work uh, for those departments that are heavily dependent upon AX and use it every day. It's also designed to be a standalone solution that works for departments that don't have a dependency on the ERP system uh, or where you have a, a situation where you may have someone who needs to review or approve an invoice where you don't necessarily need them to have uh, a license or access to AX, but you do want them to have visibility to the data and the documents that are going to drive their approval in that business decision. And then, of course, we'll have some time at the end for Q&A as well. So um, just a few, uh, just a little bit of background about ImageTag as, as a company. We were founded in 1997. Since that time, we've been focused on solving the problems of, of taking those documents that support your business decisions and put, putting them closer to those decision points. We have over 1,000 customers in 12 countries today uh, and eight U.S. patents related to our technology. Um, two of those six patents were actually secured within the last 18 months. So we're always looking for new ways to innovate uh, when we're trying to solve this problem for companies. And I'll highlight uh, actually those two recent patents as I go through uh, the demo today. So our vision in terms of what we're trying to achieve for our, our clients and, and trying to support our partners to achieve is to deliver one system for everything that's document related. So regardless of which department in your organization has documents that they need to digitize, organize, and gain control over, uh, any type of document, whether those are invoices, pr purchase quotes, purchase receipts, packing slips, anything like that on the AP side. But again, you don't have to think as narrowly as paper documents or even Word or PDF files. We actually have courthouses that use QuickTag to store copies of video depositions, so video files of court depositions that are stored on a dedicated QuickTag system, and then they've added metadata to those, to those video files so it's easy to retrieve them based on particular keywords, and they're organized and, and stored efficiently. We have uh, engineering firms that actually use QuickTag to store CAD files. So any sort of document or any sort of file that you want to store efficiently uh, can be stored in QuickTag, and then we can extend access to those documents out to any touch point that's relevant. So that touch point in today's presentation is going to focus on Dynamics AX. Uh, we happen to have integration to Dynamics GP, SL, uh, and NAV as well. We also integrate to third-party business systems. So if there may be some other pr proprietary uh, system in your company uh, that's using to store information or keep track of things, it's easy to take the same functionality you'll see in the demo today uh, and apply it to those systems. And ultimately, we want to make it easy for your business users, so whether they want email-based or web-based access to the same data and documents, we're going to give that to them as well. Um, on top of the QuickTag platform, we've created what we refer to as Quick Apps. Quick Apps basically combine um, all the things that you need to intelligently manage a document all the way through a decision process and bundles it in such a way that it's pre-configured and makes it easy to implement uh, and more cost-effective. 
So if you have documents that you want to route through an approval process, you want reports and visibility around that so you understand uh, their status at a given point in time, you have multiple documents that you want to link together automatically, whether that's a three or four way match on the AP, uh, on the AP side, whether it's all of the documents related to an employee on the human resources side, that's the kind of intelligence we can add to the document management process support, uh, to support any, any uh, department in your organization. So again, whether, uh, the de whether your organization is dependent on Dynamics, whether your individual users are, or whether they need a standalone solution, QuickTag supports uh, either of those use cases. So let's talk a little bit about account accounts payable and the problems that we see in that process today. If you're not using a system like QuickTag, if you're not using something to automate all the steps along the way. The problem is there's just simply too many steps, all the way from data entry through to routing documents for review and approval. Uh, someone has to keep track of who needs to approve what. Um, many times that means that somebody's coding those, in, you know, giving their approval and coding these invoices by writing that information on them. Somebody has to basically transcribe and enter that data uh, into the ERP system. So every step of the way there, uh, too much time is taken, there's too little control over the process, too little visibility to the bottlenecks along the way. And if you get to the point where you have a vendor, a partner, or a customer calling you, uh, you get that dreaded you know, situation where you've picked up the phone, you've talked to them, you can't give them the answer they need at that moment in time. Maybe you have to go over to a file cabinet to retrieve the information. Maybe you're hunting through your email inbox or through some disorganized uh, network folder to try to find the supporting documentation and audit trail uh, around the payment approval. So those are the kinds of problems that, uh, that we help our clients to, uh, to eliminate and overcome. Uh, oftentimes what happens is an organization comes to ImageTag and says we have a paper problem. So they have uh, issues of cost and, uh, and just inefficiencies related to file cabinets and offsite storage and things like that that they want to streamline and get rid of. We can solve that kind of problem for a client in less than a business week and they can achieve a return on investment for that in, in far less than six months. Often what happens at that stage, and many times again it's the accounts payable department, they've cleaned up the clutter, they have greater visibility, it's easy uh, for them to retrieve invoices you know, immediately right there from the AX transactions. But now they've stepped back and they realized that they were literally papering over a business process problem. So now that they've gotten up, rid of the clutter, they have a better understanding of, of their own processes and a better handle on them, they can see where there's room for additional improvement and where there's room for added efficiencies through automation. So let's talk about that a little bit. Um, I'm going to show you just a graphic here that kind of illustrates the typical steps in an accounts payable process today. Um, anywhere where you see a hand in orange, by the way, represents a manual step where there's, um, there's the risk or possibility of error or just inefficiencies that can be eliminated. So again, just the receipt and handling of invoices today, if they're paper or electronic, getting those in the hands of accounts payable, the data entry that's involved there to get that information into the ERP system, and then those documents are typically copied, routed to approvers, and then the approvers are coding them, you know, either putting that information in an email, sending it back, uh, or writing it on the documents, and then indicating their approval or rejection. And of course, from there, there's a payment process that takes place, a check is cut, the uh, invoice is filed away, again, separate and disparate from the ERP system, and then a check is mailed. So again, lots of inefficiencies there. Uh, on average, that process is taking most companies 35 days in terms of overall cycle time from receipt of an invoice, just to kind of manage the process step by step. Here's where we want to get you to using QuickTag for AX to support your AP process. So you can see here what we've done is you've, you still have an invoice to receive. Rather than doing data entry immediately there, or at least in, in conjunction with that, what we're going to do is give you the ability to associate that invoice, whether it's paper or electronic, to the transaction. And we're going to do that in a way that minimizes the interruption to that data entry process. Okay, So we're not going to make the person who's entering the information in stop doing data entry to scan an invoice. We're not going to interrupt that process. Um, so that they have to sort through these documents or print, uh, print cover sheets or print labels or something like that. It's all going to be natural and intuitive and, uh, and keep them efficient along the way and keep them focused. From there, we're going to eliminate the step of having to copy or route these physical documents around for approval. We're going to take the document itself that's been digitized and now has been associated with the transaction record in AX. We're going to have those two things combined so the data and documents are both there. We're going to use the data 
to inform your business rules so we know where to route the document to. And then those approvers are going to have access to the document and the data either from a web browser where they log in and they have a work queue and they can review the, the uh, invoice and they can see all the data related to it that you had entered into AOX, only now they're seeing it from a web browser. And they can approve or reject it from there. So their action of approval and rejection is going to determine where it goes next. Uh, ultimately, once everything's approved, those documents are going to be stored securely uh, in the QuickTag system, so it's a separate server, but where you have access to those documents from the transactions that you created in AX and an audit trail that clearly illustrates the approval that took place. Now, QuickTag can also enforce your business rules if you decide you don't want to post those transactions or you, or you can't post them until all approvals have taken place. We can enforce that for you. Simply, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll basically have a stop on being able to process it uh, unless all those approvers, approvals are there. So from there, QuickTag provides you with reporting so you can see what's been approved and when, what's pending, what's been rejected. And then you'll also always have uh, an audit trail associated with every document in the system that you can either see by browsing out to a folder and looking through the invoices uh, on the web client side, or you can go right to that document from AX, open it up, and then see the workflow history related to it. So just from this simple process, giving you the ability to quickly associate documents to a transaction, and then from there, route those documents out for review and approval, we can take your cycle time down from 35 days down to five days. And that's what you're going to get to see in the demo here in just a moment. And I'm just going to go into uh, my AX demo system here. Again, as I mentioned, I'm going to use Accounts Payable uh, as the example here. Um, but as you'll see, everything I show you uh, will be relevant to you know, any other process, any other form within AX. I must have that one open already. Okay, great. So if you're familiar with AX, and I'm sure you all are, uh, anything that you see on screen here right now should look pretty familiar to you with the exception of this little quick tag menu drop down that you see off to the right here. And uh, you'll notice there's three options from this quick tag window, tag, view, and resubmit. Uh, the tag is the function that we use to associate a document to, to a given transaction. View obviously allows you to see uh, any documents that are related to a transaction. And this resubmit is only accessible if I've submitted a document, or in other words, I've attached it here or related to this transaction, and that's triggered a workflow process, um, but no one has acted upon that particular document yet. So it's been routed, it's sitting in somebody's inbox, they haven't done anything with it yet. Um, I have the ability to basically withdraw it and submit it back to them if for some reason I had a change there. So it functions as a vis visual cue to let me know that there's something pending out there in the system. Um, and otherwise, just gives me the ability to, to um, swap that document out if I need to. So we're going to start with the tag process here. I'm going to click this tag button. Um, the assumption is that at this point in time, I have a document in front of me, whether it's a printed piece of paper, it's an electronic document that I've used to create this transaction that you see on screen here. Now, the next step is for me to file or get rid of a piece of paper or the electronic document, uh, but do so in a way that makes it retrievable and accessible when and where I need it, namely here within AX uh, and also from a web client. So this tag documents window that you see on screen here has some relevant information. It tells me the particular form I'm on, journal voucher, uh, the specific transaction that I'm in, uh, identifies the company, it, it identifies me as the user also. Okay, so it knows that it's me, and as a result of that, it also knows that I have a quick tag dispenser on my desktop. What's a quick tag dispenser? Well, a quick tag dispenser is a pre-printed roll of barcode stickers, and they're all sequentially numbered, and they're universally unique. So they're unique to me, and the next barcode number on my dispenser ends in 96. As soon as I use that one, it'll increment to 97. And QuickTag will keep track every time I use one. Okay? So if this 96 barcode was damaged, I could manually increment it to 97. Otherwise, what I'm going to do is, uh, in this case, I'm going to enter in a, a comment here, which is optional, but I'm just going to put in sample, sample paper document in this comments field. Um, that's an additional data field that's going to be stored in the QuickTag server along with a copy of the data from this AX transaction. So when I click this tag button that you see at the bottom of this form, it's going to take this barcode number, the data in this comments field, and the data from this AX transaction, and it's going to put it a copy of all of that into QuickTag into a journal voucher drawer in the QuickTag system. It's also then going to create a placeholder 
for a document that we're going to match up to that data. And QuickTag is going to know uh, what document to match up by this barcode number. Okay, so we're talking about a physical piece of paper here, and what we're trying to achieve is minimizing the interruptions that our data entry person has to their process. So they can do the data entry, click one button to bring this window up, click tag, they've created a placeholder for the document now, they put a barcode number, they put that sticky barcode on the first page of the document, and then put the document in their out box, and continue doing their data entry, and just go through that same process over and over, until they have a stack of paper documents in their outbox that all have a barcode label on the first page. And then they can feed those into their network scanner, and QuickTag will automatically sort through them based on the barcode number and put them in the appropriate places in the QuickTag system so that they're served up when I click that View Documents button from the menu here. Now, again, the goal is to try to minimize the interruptions for the person doing the data entry uh, for paper documents. If we're talking about an electronic file, I'm just going to put sample eDoc here. We don't have to worry about this barcode convention that's only designed for paper documents. This, is, this becomes irrelevant, and QuickTag knows the difference uh, between paper and electronic because we've got an Add Electronic Files button here that gives us the ability to simply browse out and select an electronic document and just add it to the system that way. And then we have one more way to add documents to the system as well that I'll show you. This is my uh, Outlook inbox here. I'm just going to grab this email from my inbox. There's an email with a body with uh, content there and also an attachment. I can drag it, that over this tag documents interface and let go of my mouse button and put a copy of that email into the QuickTag system. So if I delete that email from my inbox or from my email server, I now still have a copy of it in the QuickTag system in its native format. So if I launch it, it's going to come up in whatever e email client I'm looking at. Uh, you'll have all of the attachments there in their native form. Nothing's been converted over. So, uh, by the way, that happens to be one of the patents related to the QuickTag system that was one of the recent ones is the ability to drag and drop a file uh, over that interface to add it to QuickTag and associate it to a business system. So, we have the documents we want related to this particular transaction. If we want to see them, we simply click the View Documents button and bring up a window that's going to show us any and all documents that are related uh, to this particular transaction. And that same process, that tag and view documents buttons that we're looking at here, uh, is also accessible throughout AX for all kinds of different forms for different departments, et cetera, et cetera. So what we see on screen at the moment is the data that came over from AX off to the left here. And then off to the right, what we're seeing is this red X is actually our placeholder for the document. So as soon as I scan that document in, uh, based on the barcode number that we see off to the right here, that's how QuickTag is going to know to match the two up. And so I'll have instant access to it uh, right here in the system. Okay. And then you'll notice there are also additional associated documents here that include our sample paper document, our sample electronic document that we brought over. So again, everything is associated and related to the transaction right here, uh, immediately available to us. Let's say we don't see what we're looking for. And again, here's that electronic document that we just selected and brought over. But let's say that we don't see what we're looking for. Maybe the document uh, isn't associated to the ERP system. Maybe there's something else on the QuickTag server contract for this vendor that I'm interested in, but it's not associated to the voucher here. So I want to do a global search through the entire QuickTag system to find the document. I can enter in a keyword and then search and retrieve the document either based on the filing information, meaning the data that's related to it from AX, uh, or the document's content itself. So whether that's a scanned piece of paper where we've recognized the vendor name from the, uh, the return address whether it's an electronic uh, document like an email and we're reading the, the signature on there or the attachment itself, we've got all of that data to rely on to identify documents in the QuickTag system and then quickly return results. So you can see here I did a quick search on the keyword Earth here. I brought back documents from invoice journal lines, from the ledger journal, from purchase order, sales order, from the vendor card, vendor transactions, and vendor purchase quote. And if I do a quick right click here, I can see a preview of those immediately as well uh, for the PDFs, and then I also have the emails where I can open those uh, in their native form as well. So if I open the, uh, the email here, you'll see if there's any attachments, I can actually uh, open those and retrieve them, and the search 
that we, uh, that we executed searched both the body of that email and then also searched those attachments uh, to retrieve those, those documents uh, as well. You'll notice here, so if I just click the Open button, it's going to bring up uh, my Outlook and then give me the ability to, uh, to view that email. So there's the email. Again, here's the Earth Television's privacy policy. I've got that right there at my fingertips as well. And uh, again, if that had been deleted from my, my email inbox, I've still got a, a copy securely stored on the QuickTag system. So again, that's the basic capture and retrieval process using QuickTag integrated with AX. Regardless of what department, uh, regardless of what kind of document, regardless, regardless of what uh, business process you want to support. That can also be the first step in a workflow process. So we have the documents. We have the data related to it. They're stored in QuickTag. Um, and if, if your business rules um, are configured within the QuickTag system, we can then route it to the appropriate approver, either based on something like uh, an, an invoice amount, uh, a department, um, a dimension, or, a, or, or something like that to determine who it needs to go to. And it can go to any number of approvers at that point as well. Uh, what I'm going to do now is actually bring up the QuickTag web client so you can see what that looks like if, if we're not an AX user, but we also want to access the documents. Okay, so this is the web client view. I've just logged into an IP address here, uh, logged into QuickTag as an administrator. You'll notice there's an option here with multiple sites. So I have different companies or sites set up in the system. I'm going to select CEU here. You'll notice my favorites are selected so I can in immediately go to invoice journal lines. So I have a drawers for that. And then I can view all the documents that I have related to those invoice journal lines. There's that Earth Television's invoice we were looking at earlier. And I can either just scroll through these. Again, in some cases, if I haven't scanned them yet, I'm not going to see a document image. I've got the previewer right here. And then I can also filter right within this drawer to find those Earth Television documents, you know, if that's, if that's what I want to drill down into. Okay. If I go to all document types rather than my favorites, what you'll notice here is I have a series of drawers off to the left. They look like little file folder icons that correspond to all of those forms within AX. So what's going on behind the scenes here, basically, I'm going to right-click and select Edit, is that within QuickTag, what we've done is we've, we've created a series of drawers or structures that correspond to the forms within AX, and those drawers then have data fields that correspond to the data fields that you have within AX. So when you begin your data entry process in AX and you click that Tag button, you're, created, you're basically completing this data within a specific drawer, and then when you scan or upload the document, it's being matched up, and this is where it's showing up, right here. So out of the box, you get integration and access to documents from any of the various drawers that you see here on screen. And if you've done any customization to AX, you can add additional drawers with additional data fields. And then we can map to that to give you the same kind of uh, tag and view functionality that you saw when we were looking at uh, the, the accounts payable portion of the demo. You can also use it then as a standalone system. So you can create drawers for your own company and then have custom, you know, have custom drawers set up for any department or any document type that you want, leases, my filing, et cetera, et cetera. And then you just decide what are the data fields that are relevant to that type of document and the business process that you want to support. And then you can add those documents directly to QuickTag through the web client by using a tag button. Only in that case, you're doing the data entry here right in the system and then scanning or uploading the document uh, to get it when and where you need it. Now, often the question comes up about security. How secure is the access to these documents? So with QuickTag, you can secure documents down to the drawer level, meaning uh, I may be assigned access to leases or not, and I may either be able to read those documents or have read and write access. Um, we're now able to give to extend the ability to make it more granular down to the document level. So maybe I have access to the leases drawer, but there's only specific documents that I can view and access. Um, and that's also true, by the way, for the search functionality. So if I search from the web client, just like I did from, uh, from AX here, if I don't have access to a t particular document type, it won't show up in my search results. So if I don't have access to that drawer, I won't see it. If I don't have access to those documents, I won't see them either.
Okay, so we've talked about how you can access and, and uh, you can add and retrieve documents from AX. We've talked about the fact we give you web client access to documents as well. Um, and then I hinted that we also have the ability for that process to kick off a workflow. And that's where this work queue tab comes into play. So if I'm a department manager and uh, invoices have been submitted for me to review and approve, I go to my work queue here. I see all of these documents that have been assigned to me. Uh, I can open them up and preview them so I can see and review the document. The data here, again, was entered in AX, but it's been routed to me for review and approval. You'll notice there's an option for me to enter in additional comments. Again, that will be associated with the document as part of its audit trail. If I click reject, it's actually going to force me to enter, docu uh, enter in some comments here that will flow back to accounts payable. And again, will be part of the audit trail. So the, the intent here is I enter in some instructions to explain why I've rejected this document so AP knows how to handle it. Otherwise, if I click approve, it'll remove it from my work queue. It'll move it on to the next approver. Um, it can trigger an email to go back to accounts payable to notify them that the document's been approved. Um, otherwise, AP also has the ability just to go to a report view, and they can see which documents have been approved, which are, which are pending, et cetera, et cetera, in the system. And again, so they'll see the same thing. They'll actually see uh, the document, and then if there's any workflow history related to the document, they'll actually see these little kind of uh, little sticky note type of stamps with a time and date stamp, uh, the name of the approver, and, and there could be multiples here, right? So uh, if there have been multiple approvers, you actually have little time and date stamps for each of them. And those workflow comments would appear in the body, uh, body of that little, uh, the little message that you see there on the screen. So it's as simple as that. We walk the document through, um, through the approvals either via web client or we can also do that uh, in the form of an email. So that you, can, you have the option of going into the web client and just kind of going through your entire work queue. You also have the ability to view that in the form of an email, and I'll bring that up so you can see an example of that. So rather than the data being in the web client off to the left, you have it in the body of the message. The document that's been routed to you simply shows up as an attachment. You have the option to click a link to approve or reject, uh, or an option to click a link just to go to the web client. But you can also, if you're on your smartphone, simply click reply and type approve or reject into the body of the message, and then send that back to the QuickTag system which again will update the audit trail, move it on to the workflow process to the next approver, or notify AP that an approval uh, has taken place. The great thing about that is if you want to do those approvals from your smartphone, you don't need a separate app for that. You're just going to manage it uh, from your email, from the existing email client that you, you have access to. Hopefully, if, uh, if you appreciated the demo and you got, got a feel for what QuickTag has to offer, you can think about it in terms of how it can simplify and improve your accounts payable process, but also any other department that's dependent upon AX and also has documents to manage. Uh, we can support you there just as easily.